Okay, some news just breaking to us in the last couple of minutes. A former member of the Fugees has been convicted of 10 finance-related federal charges, including money laundering and campaign finance violations. You probably remember the Fugees, 90s, Pras Michelle, he was part of it with Lauren Hill and Wyclef Jean. But Michelle has now been found guilty of using illegally obtained money to get closer to former President Obama during his 2012 campaign and using millions more to bankroll an expensive lifestyle. NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos joins me now. We have laid out the charges against Pras Michelle, now found guilty. Um, and the details here are pretty interesting. Talk us through it and uh, your reaction to what we're learning in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, this may be colored by the fact that I am a defense attorney, and I actually recently defended money laundering charges in federal court. <clears throat> and money laundering charges, is, uh, charges are very broadly written as a statute and can be, in my opinion, relatively easy for the government to prove. But in addition, you have FARA violations. That involves the uh, an agent is. of a foreign... Yeah, exactly. It's a law that prohibits, or I should say requires at least, registration if you're working on behalf of a foreign national. It's the kind of thing that became widely learned or known during the Paul Manafort era several years ago. But I would argue before that, there were not a a lot of regular citizens that knew about FARA, and there weren't a whole lot of FARA violation prosecutions in this country going back a couple decades. So it's not something that's generally known. That's why I think it's a possibility this defendant probably really didn't know that the mere distinction that he was doing the bidding of a foreign national as opposed to somebody else made such a difference. Just to give you an example, one of the allegations was that uh, the one of his co-defendants, a foreign national, gave this defendant $20 million to get a photograph with President Obama. Now, if it didn't involve a foreign national and it didn't involve President Obama, if somebody gave me $20 million to get a photograph with Hallie Jackson, I would take that money. It would be lawful, and I wouldn't tell Hallie Jackson how much I was getting paid. And I would definitely try to get that picture done, and it wouldn't be a violation. The existence of that political angle and the foreign national is what makes some of these things criminal. A lot of citizens don't know it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.